All right, guys, we've got a great show for you today. We've got the Bintac BMW S45 Semi-Auto 45 Cal Air Rifle. Look at this beauty. You can see just how well they did putting this thing together. Look at this big, giant, beefy muzzle brake on the end of that. Beautiful muzzle brake. Fluted barrel cover. You can see the bolt there. It's just a straight pull and let it go style bolt, just like any semi-auto. Back here we have the folding standard stock with the adjustable cheek rest. And they also offer a rear tank for this as well, so you can have twice as much air on the rifle. Right now I'm able to throw three magazines, that's 18 rounds out of this, with just the front tank. That's incredible. Alright guys, let's get this thing set up, get shooting. I can't wait to put this thing through its paces. What an incredible looking rifle. And I've already cycled it through for 18 shots. It functioned flawlessly. Let's go ahead and put it through its paces on the target, and then we're going to take it out on the range and do some 25, some 50, some 75, maybe even 100 yard shots with this. Alright guys, so what we're going to be shooting today out of the S45 is we've got these 125 grain hollow points from Mr. Hollow Point. Really nice round. We're going to get some pretty fast velocities out of these rounds. Looks like they've got a beautiful hollow point in them. Great round for hunting, let's say coyotes, things like that, maybe even smaller hogs. We've got the two magazines that came with the S45. We've got our Pro Chrono Chronograph set up on a bucket just so we can get the height that we needed. And what we're going to be shooting at first here today is we're going to be shooting at this paper target down at 20 yards. We're going to go ahead and put a camera down on there. We'll use that for kind of a sight-in process and some accuracy while we get our chronograph numbers. We've got the coyote over on the left there at 25 yards. We've got a deer silhouette right there at 50 yards. We've got another one with a 6-inch kill plate out at 75 yards. Let's get going with our chronograph test and our accuracy test. All right, guys, we're ready for our first set of shots. We've got a magazine filled with the... Mr. Hollow Point 125 grain rounds. Hopefully they're in the shot. You can see the numbers on the chronograph. Let's go ahead and load up the S45. There we go. Here we go, shot number one. Looks like we got 906 feet per second. Let's go ahead and take our second shot. Eight hundred and ninety six feet per second. That's very little drop between shot one and shot two. Here we go, shot number three. Eight hundred and seventy one feet per second. Once again, very little drop. Eight hundred and sixty-six looks pretty consistent, around ten feet per second per shot. That is great, almost like it's regulated. Here we go, next shot. Eight hundred and fifty-two feet per second. I believe this is our final shot. Eight hundred and thirty-eight feet per second. It's really good numbers. Definitely some nice velocities for a 45 repeater. But let's go ahead and load up a second magazine just to kind of see what kind of velocities we have after our second magazine. Here we go. Let's go ahead and reload. All right, shot number seven on our first fill of air. Eight hundred and twenty eight feet per second. Eight hundred and eleven feet per second. Seven hundred and ninety eight feet per second. Seven hundred and eighty seven, seven hundred and sixty nine, and 
760 feet per second. So there you go, there's actually 12 rounds from a repeating 45 caliber air rifle. We're still ending up with over 750 feet per second on our 12th round. If we're gonna do the silhouette targets, go ahead and zoom in for you. I don't know how well this is gonna come out. Hopefully you can see the impacts. If nothing else, we can hear them. Let's go ahead and move into the 75 yard. Oh, got a good impact on that. Here we go at the 50. Got a good impact on that. Let's go down to 25 year coyote. Two rounds at the coyote. Oh, knocked the kill plate out of the hole. All right, guys, so I've got two absolutely useless items to shoot at. Over on the right there is a copying machine. The lid of it's flipped down so you can see that glass plate right there in the front. On the left is the tranny pan to a vehicle that I pulled off. Nice thick piece of aluminum. Should give us a good indication at 20 yards what this rifle can do with these 125 grain leads. And the copier should just make a big mess and look cool on the camera that's down there on the target. All right guys, so our first shots are gonna be at that tranny pan. Let's see what it does to it. All right, let's go ahead and uh, fire the rest of this clip at that tranny pan, see if it's doing anything. Looks like they might just be bouncing off of it. There we go, now we got a hole in it. All right, so that was our first mag there at the tranny pan.